Football League comes to you from Ford Field here in downtown Detroit, Michigan. Straight ahead, we've got a pretty good one on tap here as it'll be the Indianapolis Colts taking on the Detroit Lions. The punter Jack Fox has us ready to go and we are underway here at Ford Field. And here comes a return from a few steps into the end zone. And he returns this to the 22. Minshew going to look to throw it right away. And his first pass here is going to fall incomplete. That certainly appeared to be a play call where they were just trying to make second down, second and short. I think they thought the coverage was off a little bit more than it was. Nice job there pressing up on it and forcing the incompletion. They'll run. This is Jonathan Taylor. Hustling free near the 40. And they're going to get this beyond the 40 before he's taken down. That's good for 21 yards and a first down. They run once more with Taylor. And he'll be taken down just shy of midfield. He'll get a nice chunk there on the first down run, and it's second and four. A quick burst there, and he nicely bit off a pretty decent game. From just shy of midfield, here's second and four. Looking to throw it, Minshew. That is incomplete. It's pretty early in the game. They were already trying to establish him, not just as a runner, but as a receiver as well. Didn't happen there, but I wouldn't be surprised at all to see them try again shortly. Now the first carry for Zach Moss. And they go backwards here, losing yardage back at the 48-yard line. A loss of a yard, and it brings up fourth. Part of the thinking when you bring in extra tight ends, you're hoping that each of your guys gets those one-on-one -on -one blocks and creates a crease for your runner. But the converse is, though, you've got to win those one-on-one -on -one blocks. And when you don't, that's the result you end up with. Escaping the pressure right. And it's incomplete. They cannot convert, and they turn it over. A surprising move here on the opening drive of the game. And this defense delivers a turnover on downs on the very first drive of the afternoon. First down, here's the run with Montgomery. And he is going to be stopped cold behind the line of scrimmage. He'll lose a yard there, and it's second and 11. Up the middle, it's Montgomery. And he's going to get back to the original line of scrimmage, but that's about it. The second down play, not much better than the first. Just a gain of one there. Just not a whole lot of room to operate there on that carry. No, not at all. They did a really nice job staying in their proper places and not allowing any lanes to open up. He's got his target. That's complete. Touchdown, Detroit. Robin Ross St. Brown. First here this afternoon. Extra point by Badgley, up and good. And it's now a 7 0 game. The kickoff team on the field now as they will send this one away. They'll elect to bring it out here from the end zone. And the decision to come out of the end zone is going to cost him five yards as he's taken down right at the 20. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. 
And Charles, we know that this offense is aggressive. We saw that last drive. They went for it on fourth down, didn't get it. Then they give up the touchdown. So now you feel like they really need to respond here. They certainly do, but let's face it. Sometimes when you take that risk, you understand if you fail, a little more onus goes back on your ball club to try to pick themselves back up. A nice run here early on. It doesn't take a great play caller to realize you want to establish a guy of his caliber who runs like this early because they'll pay dividends as the game progresses. Minshew sets to throw. And this throw incomplete. That time it's going to lead to third down. Not a great start dropping his first target, but let's face it, it won't be his last chance because he'll get opportunities to make up for that one throughout this game. They'll try to throw for it with Minshew. And this is going to be incomplete. Two drives won't tell the story of this game, but you absolutely have to like how this defense has played thus far. They have yet to allow this offense to get on track in this one. And how about the call here? They need two yards in their own territory on fourth down, and they're going to go for it. They'll try and throw for it here. Able to find the open man. That's complete. Now inside the 25. Touchdown, Colts! Alec Pierce, 72 yards. And the Colts' decision to go for it pays off with six points. Shane Steichen, aggressive as a play caller. He's going to go for two here. And Minshew will throw for it. And it's caught. He's got it. So they go for two. They convert. And along with it, they'll take an 8-7 lead. Sanchez now. He'll kick it away following the touchdown. Here comes Khalif Raymond from his end zone. And ultimately cannot get this out to the 25-yard line as he's dropped at the 23. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. This drive here beginning probably with a pair of motivated groups. Remember the offense scored a touchdown. On their last time out looking to repeat that in Charles' defense, they were very frustrated after giving up six the last time on the field. And frankly, it's just a battle of wills in a lot of ways because you know they're both motivated. They both game plan for this drive, and they both have specific outcomes in mind. To me, it just comes down to who can execute better and which side can step up and assert its will over the other. That one, a first down pickup of eight. Again, they'll go ground with Montgomery. And he takes this up right near the 45-yard line. Now a timeout called for by the offense. They'll have two remaining as we step aside here in this first quarter. Ball placed at the 45 for second and five. Gibbs straight ahead, and he is met in his tracks behind the line of scrimmage. He was taken down by DeForest Parker. A loss of one. It's now third down. Throwing on third. Golf. Work in the middle of the field, and he's got a man complete. And he is going to have a Lions first down as they're able to get the Going up the gun, Montgomery. There he goes, left side. Touchdown, Detroit. David Montgomery, 47 yards. And the Lions have regained the lead. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And it's up and good to make this now a 14-8 ball game. And they'll accept that penalty. After the roughing penalty on the PAT, they'll kick off from 15 yards further upfield. And this will be a touchback as Ed sails over the inline. Minshew and the Colts going to come up here first and 10 at their 25-yard line.
They'll start by running the option to the right. And he is met at the line of scrimmage, and he goes down right there. No gain there as he kept it himself at second down. Now Minshew. Flush to his right. And they nearly get this all the way to midfield. Mark him down at the 49. Good work by Minshew there to pick up the first. Well, that turned out better than most of the passes he could have thrown on that snap. The coverage downfield was excellent, but the containment close to home left him a backdoor escape, and they paid dearly for not rocking up. And the ball is free. Taylor lost it. And this is scooped up by the Lions. And his guys will take over at the 30-yard line. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. So for this offense, Charles, remember, drive one made it to the end zone. Drive two resulted in a touchdown as well. Now they'll try to make it three for three. Yeah, and you know, they told us all week that this was the plan, that this is what they wanted to execute. But did they really believe it would happen this well, this efficiently? I know they'll take it. And afterwards, they'll say, there was never a doubt in our minds we were going to be successful in this one. And that'll be caught in St. Brown. Sheds off the tackle. A big play there for Detroit. 48 yards. That was awfully nice. Hit him in stride and off he went. It was almost like the ball hitting him. It was like him receiving a baton and he was running the anchor leg in a relay race. So how about this for field position after the big play? Inside the 15 now as they come up on first and 10. Now Montgomery running right, looking to find a lane, but he can't rein in at the line of scrimmage. Officially no gain on the play, and it's second down. Now Goff. To the goal line, but it's incomplete. The storm windows get a lot tighter near the end zone, don't they? And here's the thing. You already probably have three points in your hip pocket. You force a throw here and give up an interception, you come away with nothing. Especially tough in the middle third of the field where he threw that one. And now the third down throw incomplete as well. He did a fine job there of not hitting him before the ball arrived. And I've got to tell you, you can often mistime that play because of the angles of approach. When you're going to get him, sometimes you panic as well and think, I've got to be there right now. And a double coverage, and it's intercepted. Picked off by Zaire Franklin. And the Colts are going to get the ball back on the turnover as they hold on fourth down. The Colts come to the line ready to start their next drive. And a fumble last time. Ball security. Talk about it all the time in the National Football League. They've got to be better at it on this drive. Don't you think that when every team gets together for the first time, I don't care if it's OTAs, mini camps, first and first day of camp in the regular season, ball security comes up about what, the second sentence of the coach's yeah. address? And those are so many drills focus on that. All the time, and they do drills to make it even tougher to simulate game situations. Doesn't always work out, though. In motion comes the tight end left. Second down, another run with Taylor. And nothing doing. He's immediately taken down at the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play, and it's going to bring up the third down. He's already fumbled once in this game, and I thought the ball started to jostle there a little bit, but they got to it quickly at the line of scrimmage. They sure did. And remember, if you're not a very confident runner and you've already dropped it once, if there's traffic around you, the only thing you think about is protecting the football, not gaining yards. Here comes third down at seven. Here's Minshew. And a throw there going to be incomplete. Normally I'd say this will lead to a punt attempt, but this offense already shown in the first half that they'll go for it on fourth down. Oh, they should have already said, punt it, punt it. Head coach have already made that decision. On fourth down, Minshew. Complete, they cannot convert, and they turn it over. So 
certainly an interesting call there to go for it. And now possession will go over inside the 15-yard line. Trying to shake off the interception from the last drive. He'll look to throw. And in for the Lions touchdown. David Montgomery. He scored on the ground and through the air. And the Lions will extend their lead in the final minute of the half. Badgley on for the extra point. He knocks it through, and he extends the lead to 21-8. This one away. This will be brought out from the middle of the end zone. And he's able to get this across the 20, but not by much, as he's marked down officially at the 21. The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And with time quickly fading here in the second quarter, not sure how aggressively, offensively they want to play this. I think we'll find out just how much they trust their guys in this situation if they decide to take a shot. They take a shot downfield there, but it winds up falling incomplete. Second and 10. They'll set up to throw. And that one gonna come up short, low throw. They have to like what they've done defensively here on the outset of this drive. They forced a couple of incomplete passes, bring up the third and ten. Don't be surprised to bring a little pressure on this snap. So back-to-back -back incompletions, and that has them staring at a third and ten. This time they stay on the ground. And he'll be stopped short of the first down as they rally to tackle him at about the 28. And they're going to take a timeout defensively. So with fourth down coming up, they go ahead and burn it and say we'll see what happens. And they're going to go for this. Just one for three so far on fourth down tries. They're trying again. They're going to try and throw. And he is caught. And they're able to get this one across the 35. And with just four seconds left in this first half, a timeout call. And they line up now for what will likely be the last play of the first half. They'll throw now on the final play. He'll let one go deep for Downs. Into a double team, and it's intercepted. Picked up by Cameron Sutton, and he will be brought down on what will be the final play of this first half. Time for a break. We've hit halftime. Two quarters down, two still remain. We step aside. This is the NFL on EA Sports. Welcome back. Charles and I settled into the booth ready for quarter number three. The Lions in the lead, and they're going to get the football first as well as the second half is underway. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And all deep in his own territory, he coughs up the football, and the Colts pick it up. And he'll be brought down around the seven-yard line. 
So a turnover there on the kickoff, and don't look now, but that just made things a little more interesting. Very interesting, because when you're trailing in a game, these are the mistakes that you're brave for. You just went down and scored. Now you get the football right back with another great opportunity. They give it off here to the tight end. And he'll be stopped just outside the five at the six. Only a yard that time, second and goal. You got to be ready for anything when you play defense against this head coach. That is not something you'd expect to see here in the red zone, but it winds up getting him a few yards. The six-yard line, the line of scrimmage on second and goal. They're going to look to throw. Looking for Pierce, and he's got him. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Alec Pierce, his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts have cut it back within a score. They'll look to throw. And he's got it for the two-point conversion. So they tack on a pair more here to narrow that deficit a bit further. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Here's Raymond bringing it out. A solid return, pretty good field position. They'll start at the 32. Offense ready to kick off their next drive. Pretty important third quarter drive for it, and momentum has sort of shifted the other direction after that last touchdown as they nurse this small lead. And he's able to push his way forward somehow for a gain of about two yards. Second down now. That was a pretty good job defensively to hold him to a two yard run, but I've got to think this offensive line, they're asking their quarterback for a different type of a run, one that they rely on, one they have confidence in, one they feel like they can block. And he's going to be met at the line of scrimmage and taken down. Two runs in a row, but only two yards to show for it. As usual, the hallmark of a good run defense, linebackers making plays near the line of scrimmage. Absolutely nowhere to run there. They'll be in search of eight yards here as they hope to convert the first down. On third down, they go Montgomery. And the hole closes quickly. He gets it across the 35 to the 36-yard line. Just a two-yard pickup, and that should necessitate a call for the punt team here on fourth down. Goff and his guys not coming off the field. They're going for this. They're going to go for it. It's Goff. All right, rifles one, and that's going to be intercepted. And he'll get it all the way down inside the 35-yard line. So they'll come up first and 10 now from the 33. They'll come out throwing here to start the drive. Flushed out right. And he'll go out of bounds inside the 15-yard line. That one a broken play, but it ends up being a good play. The scramble goes for 20. From the 13 now, they work on first and 10. They give to Taylor out of the gun. And he'll get into the end zone. And touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor, a 13-yard touchdown run. And the Colts have scored again in this third quarter, this time to move out in front. They'll try and throw for it, and he's got it. The try for two is successful, and it pushes the lead up to a field goal. So they make the decision. They want a three-point lead versus a two-point lead, and they got it. Yeah, at this stage of the game, it seems like the exact right thing to do. Put a little pressure on your defense, but the biggest thing now is you're making the other team chase you. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. 
And that one will bounce out of the back of the end zone, so we will start here at the 25. The Detroit offense ready to begin their drive. So now, Charles, this drive, maybe a touch more important, trying to erase the memory of that interception they had the last time out. Yeah, and everyone goes through this because even the best in the game, you're going to have games where it just doesn't go right for you and interceptions result. So, frankly, to me, it's all about how you respond, not just the types of plays that you call, but how you carry yourself. How you and he's free going down the left side. It's a foot race inside the 20. And he will finally be taken down, but not before he gets it to the Colts 13. 67 yards rushing for him now and just his first three carries. A real field flipper there as all of a sudden they've got a first down in the red zone. Going back to Gibbs on first down. And not able to break away this time as they're going to stop him right around the line of scrimmage. No gain on the play. It'll be second down. They'll try to run wide side with Montgomery. And they'll go backwards here, losing yardage to the 14. That'll wind up as a loss on the play. So now they're staring at a third down and 12. So they'll get a little extra time to come up with his third down play. Back now at Ford Field. It's been a very hotly contested game to this point. Just a field goal separating these two teams as we get set for the fourth quarter. Now it's Goff off the bootleg. Rolling. And he can't find anywhere to go with it. And he goes down. Quitty Pay getting in there and burying him behind the line. So here we go. Maybe the biggest kick of the game forthcoming. Badgley able to knock this one through. And in the fourth quarter, this game is tied. So with less than a minute gone by here in this fourth quarter, the field goal there gets this thing back to even. And it's setting up for a fantastic finish, isn't it, partner? It's been a well-played game, a hard-hitting game. The fans are into it. The announcers are into it. This is going to be a great fourth quarter. Setting up for a great finish. All tied in the fourth as the kick's away. And this is going to be returned from the middle of the end zone. And they'll get him down right at the 25-yard line. So the same result that he opted for the touchback. come to the line ready to start their next drive and we essentially have a brand new ball game after that last field goal has tied us all up we brace for what should be an exciting rest of this fourth quarter and this is going to be intercepted Jack Campbell with a pick and he will bring it back an interception return for the Lions touchdown in a tie game, fourth quarter, that's about as big of a defensive play as you can possibly make. And it didn't happen by accident. That was, that was scouting right there. They've seen things that have happened before. They knew in certain situations the type of plays they like to run, read it, and were able to go after the football, get it, and take it into the end zone for a touchdown for themselves. Here's Badgley now to try to add the PAT. And they will take a seven-point lead now. So they'll get another shot on offense following that pick six. And now the kick is away. And we'll see a return here from the end zone. And he'll be dropped at the 21-yard line. So bringing it out of the end zone proves not a good decision. Loses him about four yards. Yeah. 
The Indy offense at the line and set to go. And can they regroup? That's the question. The pick six hurt, no doubt, but this is still a one-score game here in the fourth. They'll run with Taylor to begin the drive. And nothing much materializing there on the first down run. He'll get a couple, and that's it. Well, any lane that might have been open there was closed pretty quickly, and that was because the defensive front, they won that battle at the point of attack at the line of scrimmage. They used great leverage, held their spot, and stacked him up. Ball at the 23, second and eight. Now back to throw. And it's incomplete. Took a shot, couldn't connect. Some coaches like to take the shorter, more reliable yardage and so They like to go for the big shot. No fear of risking a deep ball there. But it wasn't enough to get him the completion. On third down, here's Taylor. There he goes offside. Jonathan Taylor. Touchdown, Indianapolis. Jonathan Taylor with his second touchdown of the afternoon. And the Colts are an extra point away from tying this game here in the fourth. We see this a lot on third and short yardage, especially down here in the red zone. They're going to sell out to stop the run, try and hold them to a field goal. But once the running back gets past the first wave, the resistance can evaporate after that. And he not only picks up the first, but he takes it all the way into the end zone. So here we go. The Colts will go for two. They're going to try and run for it. And he will get into the end zone. So how about that for putting it on the line? They've taken the lead by a point here in the fourth quarter. Sanchez now, he'll kick it away following the touchdown. Here's Raymond bringing it out. And they'll get him down right around the 25, actually the 26 officially, so a net gain of one there. The Lions offense ready to kick off their next drive. We certainly have a good one on our hands. They're trailing after that last touchdown, but now a chance for this offense to try to snag that lead right back here in the fourth quarter. Yeah, that's good for a gain of six, and that'll bring up second down. They'll try the middle with Montgomery. And he'll push forward for a couple to the 34. Well, how about the big guy there showing some agility? He just flowed from his D-tackle position in order to make that play. They'll run it. Here's Montgomery. And he's got the first before he's brought down at the 39-yard line. Fourth quarter, two minutes on the clock in a tight one-point game. So the Lions in possession of the football as we welcome you back. Plenty of time. All three timeouts still remain. Here's first and ten now. And able to get this one all the way up to about the 46-yard line. Not a bad game there, and it's okay to still run the football in this situation, but you got to be careful to not take too much time off the clock. On oh, second down, here's Gibbs. And a strong run that time as he's across midfield and down to the 43. Now you're right on the edge of field goal range. You've still got time, but get up to the line of scrimmage and get set. Goff now to throw. And he overshot him there. It's out of bounds, incomplete. Whew, that's certainly not the worst thing. It stops the clock and let your offense catch its breath and lets us exhale a little bit. Now I expect them to call a couple plays in the huddle so they're ready if a tackle happens inbounds. And he'll get it inside the 40 to the 39. I know a lot of people won't like the draw called in that situation, but every now and then that pops big. In this case, it didn't happen. They'll come to the line now on a third and six. Now gone. Pass taken in by his big tight end. And they'll get him to the ground. He has another first down at the Colts' 24-yard line. Oh, 
And now they're going to get the timeout. So a huge play has them in field goal range with a chance to possibly send this one to OT. And his kick is good. And the Lions are going to win this game. So this one's over. It's a 